Some diet promoters' latest kick is to go gluten-free. Will this really give you any health benefits? I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that gives you the real facts behind popular myths. Gluten is currently one of the alternative health industry's favorite boogeymen. There's so much alarm about it that restaurants are offering gluten-free menus. Supermarkets have whole gluten-free food sections. Five years ago, consumers had never heard of gluten-free, and we all seemed to do just fine. Is this stuff really so bad? Gluten is not a fat or a carbohydrate. It's a protein. Gluten is found in wheat, rye, and barley. It's an important source of dietary protein. It's even added to a lot of foods to boost their protein content. In fact, most vegetarian meat and cheese substitutes are based on wheat gluten. Gluten is a long, tough molecule, and it's what gives modern bread dough its sponginess and elasticity. But there's been a growing trend in recent years to view gluten in a negative light. It is true that a small number of people are born with gluten sensitivities that reduce their ability to tolerate it to varying degrees. Something of a non sequitur line of reasoning has followed that if some people can't tolerate it, it therefore must be generally bad for everyone. But there are actually only a tiny number of people who have to avoid gluten, basically those with celiac disease, in which gluten causes an inflammation of the tissues in your gut that interfere with your ability to absorb nutrients from food. Very few people actually have this, but as the gluten-free fad has grown in recent years, a huge number of alternative practitioners are telling people they have it. Don't believe the health food store guy. Go to a doctor and get a blood test or a biopsy. It's unlikely that you actually have this, but a few do. A somewhat larger number of people have any of various wheat-related allergies. These are not necessarily a reason to avoid gluten. Most people with such allergies don't even realize they have them and do just fine. Most of the rest can use common allergy treatments and continue eating a normal diet. Yet those whose business is the sale of gluten-free products would often have us believe that many more of this should buy them. Don't. For healthy people, they're a waste of money. Eat a balanced diet, low in fat, and get some exercise. That's a prescription that no flash-in-the-pan fad diet can hope to match. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you please visit infactvideo.com.